Okay, so let's look at a differential equation, which is uh, an application of something flowing in versus something flowing out. So in this case, we have a tank initially holds 25 litres of water in which 0.5 kilograms of salt has been dissolved. Pure water then flows into the tank at the rate of 6 litres per minute. The mixture is stirred continuously and flows out of the tank at 4 litres per minute. The differential equation for Q, the number of kilograms of salt in the tank after t minutes, is given by. Okay, so for these sort of differential equations, we need to um, consider two rates, which is the rate in minus the rate out. And that's going to give us our overall differential equation for Q. Okay, so keep in mind Q in this problem is the number of kilograms of salt in the tank. So to start with, we have 0 0.5 kilograms of salt in the tank. Um, and the volume of the tank initially is 25 litres. But what we're interested in is at what rate is it flowing in and at what rate is it flowing out. So if we read the question, um, for the rate in, it says pure water flows into the tank at a rate of 6 litres per minute. Okay, and um, the fact that that's pure water, it's actually zero, um, no salt. So the rate in is actually going to be zero. So that's the easy part. Uh, as far as the rate out, well, what's happening on the way out is the mixture is stirred. And it's flowing out at four liters per minute. Okay, so we know that 4 litres per minute is going out, but that's a ratio of volume with respect to time. Okay, that's a dv dt. We want dq dt. So we can do that uh, because we can break dq dt down into d, uh, dq dv by dv dt. And we've said that our dVdt is 4 because we're losing 4 litres per minute. Now, dQ dV uh, is the tricky one. So for that, we need to consider how much salt is going out per litre. Well, how many litres are in the tank? Originally, it's 25, but um, because the water is flowing in at 6 litres per minute and out at only 4 litres per minute, the volume is going to be increasing from 25 by 2 litres per minute. So overall, our volume at any time t is going to be 25 plus 2t. And how much salt are we losing per litre? Well, the amount of salt in the tank is q. Okay, that's the definition of q is the number of kilograms of salt in the tank. So our dq dv is going to be q divided by the volume at any time, which is 25 plus 2t. Okay, so that is the tricky part to work out, particularly as in this case, where the volume is actually changing as a function of t. Um, but that's the idea with this type of question. We've got a differential equation. We could look through our options and recognize uh, which one it is. And that's it for this question. So you might notice that actually these numbers here do not appear in the differential equation at all. Okay, this is an initial, um, an initial um, condition, but it does not appear in our differential equation because our differential equation is talking about the rate of change. If we were then to go and solve this differential equation to find Q as a function of T, uh, then in that case, we would need an initial condition. But as far as if we were just asked for the differential equation, we just asked for the derivative and it's going to be something like this as a rate in minus rate out.